2014 VW Jetta. This thing has the 1.8 liter. The customer says it's just running rough. It quits, it dies. I'm charging the battery now and we're gonna scan it and see what we got, see if we can fix this car. First thing I noticed is it's really overfilled. I mean, it looks like it's got like three quarts too much oil in it. Don't think that would cause a misfire. Okay, I'm doing a code scan now. There's already 10 codes in the ECM. Okay, it's finished scanning through all the modules. We have several codes, 10 in the ECM, five in the ABS. Okay, let's see what kind of codes we have. Misfire. ECM processor, don't know what that is. Very weird. Let me look up these codes and see what all, try to get an idea of what's going on here. All right, we have these codes in here. The ones that concern me the most are the engine, basically it's a, some kind of oil pressure code, which is this one, this code, and the misfires. So I know it's overfilled with oil, but I'm gonna start it up and we're gonna listen to it. It's definitely got a horrible misfire. It's shaking, the engine's shaking. You can hear it popping. Hear that? Pop, pop. What do you think it is? <laughs> it's a misfire. Oil being overfilled is a problem. Let's check the oil level. Oh my goodness, John, that's not good. Half a quart or a quart over. I'd, I'd say a, a quart. A quart. I, no, that's oh. gonna be like, a whole quart, maybe, yeah, over. Oh. All right, we know it's about a quart over. I'm not overly concerned about that. What I'm gonna do now is just, I wanna always do the simplest thing first. I wanna kinda check the health of the engine. And what I mean by that is if this thing's been running low on oil, it could have some bearing, excessive bearing wear, main bearing wear. So I'm gonna just take this oil filter out and look into the folds of the filter and see if we can see any metal shavings that'll just give us um that's something easy to do it's right here so let's do that okay i pulled the filter out we're just checking for any uh metal in the filter it looks pretty good so far yeah, too i mean it needs changed of course it would look sparkly all right i pulled the filter out we checked it there is no metal in the filter. Okay, I'm gonna do an RC test, relative compression. Ian's gonna get in and crank it with the throttle fully open. And you have to crank it for, I think it says eight seconds. Okay, crank it in. That's good. As you can see, all of our cylinders are contributing. That is good. What I wanted to do, you know, the smartest things to do first is, you know, check your filter, make sure there's no metal in the engine, do a relative compression, and now you can start to diagnose the actual misfire because you kind of got to get these big things out of the way. This car has been driven by a young guy that don't really keep up on his maintenance. So I wanted to check all those things. So now that we know it has good compression, it doesn't have metal in the engine, now we're gonna figure out why it's misfiring. Okay, I got the scope hooked up on channel one. I'm hooked up to the ignition trigger. On channel two, I'm hooked up to the tailpipe pressure transducer so we can hear them pulses that I showed earlier in the video and I'm gonna sync it so I know which cylinder I'm on with this probe. And this will tell us which cylinder is misfiring. One, two, three, or four, or even multiple ones. Let's start it up. Yeah, it's misfiring really bad. Okay, here's our data. Let me zoom this in. Let's see which one's misfiring. That looks pretty bad. Pull up our rollers. Phase rollers on, 720. So it looks like I go over one, one, three, four, and two. So two is missing its pulse right there. Number two, the firing order is one, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. Okay. 
this one's number two. So I think this one is bad. Let's just switch the coil and see if it moves on the screen. Okay, I pulled this one out and I noticed there's oil all down in it. So this matches exactly our symptom. And so I'll switch the coils, the, bad, the suspected bad one to one. And then we will see if this moves this hump this non-existent hump see they should be uniform so we got an issue here okay i got it the cool switch we'll start up see what happens yep it feels like it's still missing okay it still looks like it's misfiring on two one three four two It's dropping out bad on two. I think we need to switch the spark plug now over and see if this moves over to number one. Yeah, I just pulled the plugs out and they look pretty bad. If this thing would focus in, I'll show you all where. See right there, the porcelain is broken right, right there can see it's broke it should look like this one see how there's no chip missing right in there but this one there is so I'll put this one in cylinder one we'll redo our test we're kind of beating a, beating a dead horse here but I just want to follow through with my testing just to be sure and then we'll probably put a set of plugs in this but let's do our testing first not jump to conclusions Okay, so this was cylinder number two misfiring, and I moved the spark plug that had the porcelain chip out of it and extremely dirty. So what we should see is this hump move to here, which this would be number one, because that's where I moved the spark plug to. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. And that's it, turn it off. And as you can see, it moved over to one. Right there it is. So that confirmed it was the spark plug. All right, I'm gonna order some spark plugs, put in this thing. We're gonna be hopefully good to go. All right, it's the next day. We're back on this VW. Got some new NGK spark plugs and a new oil filter. We're gonna do an oil change and new spark plugs. Plugs all put back in. Let's start it up, see if it's misfiring. Perfect. All right, that's it. We fixed it. Just a misfire. Needs some plugs. So, thanks for watching.